Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at local file inclusion and path traversal vulnerabilities. We'll explain what it is, some causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what are local file inclusion and path traversal vulnerabilities? Local file inclusion, or LFI, is a vulnerability that allows files hosted on the server to be included and potentially executed. Using path traversal, files located outside of the current folder can be accessed. What causes the local file inclusion and path traversal vulnerabilities? This vulnerability exploits the dynamic file include mechanism that exists in programming frameworks. A local file inclusion happens when uncontrolled user input, such as form values or headers for example, are used to construct a file include path. Path traversal is possible because characters like dot dot slash or encoded versions are not being explicitly handled. To understand the local file inclusion and path traversal vulnerabilities, let's look at an example. Let's say a vulnerable site uses the page parameter, which it includes to dynamically build the content of the site. An attacker could use the page parameter to craft a URL to try to access sensitive files in other directories. By using path traversal and trial and error, they submit manipulated requests to the application server. Eventually, they find the correct path and the user account information is returned to the output. Local file inclusion and path traversal vulnerabilities can have significant impacts. Depending on system access restrictions, various sensitive files could be read or executed. Password files, database configuration files, or the database content itself could be stolen. A remote shell could be executed. For example, Next to reading files, advanced attacks can result in the execution of arbitrary malicious code under specific circumstances. Customer data could be exposed, leading to privacy violation, reputational and financial damages. To prevent local file inclusion and path traversal, developers should never directly pass user input to file include commands. Use an indirect reference map instead. Alternatively, apply whitelist validation against all user controllable input, including form parameters, cookies, and HTTP headers. Finally, remember to pay special attention to dot dot slash or encoded variants in user input. They are often the key for an attacker to gain unauthorized access to system files. Congratulations, you have now completed this module Local File Inclusion and Path Traversal.